Hello students, this is Nitin Mohood and through this video we are going to understand one of the most important network theorems named as Thevenin's theorem. It is a theorem basically used to solve the linear bilateral electric networks. So far the statement of Thevenin's theorem is concerned, the statement is like this. Current flowing through the load resistance RL connected across any two terminals A and B of a linear bilateral network is given by IL equals to VTH upon RTH plus RL where VTH is the Thevenin's voltage and it's basically a voltage across terminals A and B when RL is removed and RTH that is Thevenin's resistance it's a total resist internal resistance of the network seen from terminals A and B with RL removed and all voltage sources replaced by their internal resistance and current source replaced by infinite resistance if any here the meaning of linear bilateral network is linear means the network where current and voltage exhibits linear relationship while bilateral network means where the direction doesn't matter. Now we will see the proof for the Thevenin's theorem to prove the formula for IL. So considering the circuit for the Thevenin's theorem where we are going to apply the Thevenin's theorem to this circuit. Here you can see a battery V with voltage V with internal resistance small r so this resistance r1 then r2 and here load resistance rl is connected across points a and b to find the current flowing through rl using Thevenin's theorem that is to Thevenize this circuit first step is to find vth that is Thevenin's voltage now the for moving on to this step, the first thing which is to be done is remove RL means this and redraw the circuit. Thus, the circuit will now look like this. Here we have removed this RL. Now, since A and B are open, the voltage across them or voltage existing between point A and B will be equal to the voltage drop across R2 because current will flow here only and it will not come here since this point is these points are open. So current will start from positive of the battery through R1 it goes through R2 it goes and it will reach to negative terminal of the battery. So because of this current I whatever the voltage drops across R2 that is the voltage drop or potential drop across R2 is nothing but the VTH. And that voltage drop across R2 is I into R2 according to Ohm's law. So current multiplied by resistance. So that you are getting as IR2. When where I is the circuit current, when A and B are open and I is equal to. Now what is I? First we will require to calculate value of I. So I will be equal to V upon total resistance. In the circuit so v upon r1 plus r2 plus small r and as we have calculated the potential drop across r2 is equal to i r2 therefore we can write vth equals to i means this term into r2 so v into r2 upon r1 plus r2 plus r so VTH is equal to VR2 upon R1 plus R2 plus R. This is the formula we obtain for this diagram for Thevenin's voltage. Where small r is the internal resistance of the battery and VTH obtained here is called as the Thevenin's voltage. Now moving on to the second stage. So for finding value of RTH that is the total internal resistance of the circuit. The, to find the total internal resistance the batteries are removed and they are replaced by their internal resistances 
and hence here the battery which was existing initially that we have removed and its internal resistance small r is shown here and hence the circuit will look like this now. The total resistance seen from terminals A and B. Now we will have to calculate the resistance, total resistance of the circuit from these points A and B. So let us start from A and we will reach to B. So when we are starting from A, we will come here. Here we will get two branches. One branch will be like this and second branch will be like this. Means these resistances are in parallel with R2 and therefore the total resistance seen from the terminal A and B is RTH that is Thevenin's resistance is equal to R1 plus R since they are in series and they are in parallel with R2. So R1 plus R parallel R2. Here we are applying the formula for R1 parallel R2. So when, R, when the two resistances R1 parallels uh, R2, we can write is it as R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. In the similar way, here we are considering this entire R1 plus R as one resistance and R2 as second resistance. So when this is parallel to this, we will get R2 multiplied by R1 plus R whole divided by R2 plus R1 plus R. And this RTH is nothing but the Thevenin's resistance. Original circuit thus can be reduced to a single source with EMF VTH and internal resistance RTH and the circuit can be redrawn like this. First we have, we have calculated VTH then we have calculated RTH so total voltage Thevenin's voltage we have calculated and the total internal resistance we have calculated so we are getting VTH and RTH and the RL which was initially removed we are connecting it back in the circuit. So the final circuit or Thevenin's circuit or Thevenin's circuit for the given circuit is like this. And here the current flowing through RL will be given as VTH that is total voltage divided by RTH plus RL. So we can write this formula hence the theorem is proved. We will see one example which will again clear some more idea about the Thevenin's theorem. Here, the battery of 24 volts with internal resistance 1 ohm and the resistances are provided with values, actual values. And here you require to calculate the current flowing through 15 ohm resistor. So we will consider this 15 ohm resistor as RL, that is load resistance. To theonize the circuit, again we will follow the same steps. The first step is to find VTH. So for that, remove 15 ohm resistance to find VTH hence the circuit will look like this and here you can see the current now will flow from positive of 24 volts through 3 ohm through 12 ohm and to negative of the 24 volt battery and therefore the voltage drop across this 12 ohm resistor will be equal to VTH and that is the Thevenin's voltage. Now first we will require to calculate the current flowing here in this loop. So current flowing here in this loop will be the total voltage across in the loop that is 24 volts divided by the total resistance existing in the path of the loop you can say. So 3 plus 12 that is 15 plus 1 16. So 24 volts divided by 16 right. So 1 is I is equal to 24 volts divided by 1 plus 3 plus 12 that gives me 1.5 amperes. So this much of current flows in this circuit. Now the step is hence the voltage drop across 12 ohm resistor which is nothing but VTH. To calculate it we will have to multiply the current flowing through this 12 ohm resistor multiplied by 12 ohm. So VTH will be equal to 1.5 amperes multiplied by 12 ohm that gives me 18 volts. Now we got the value of VTH. Now we are moving on to the second step that is to find the value of RTH. To find the value of RTH remove RL this is the first step from the given circuit and replace the voltage source with its internal resistance R. Hence the new circuit will look like this. 
here the battery is replaced by its internal resistance and therefore the new circuit will appear like this when we are calculating the total resistance of the circuit or internal resistance of the circuit from point a and b suppose we are starting from a so we will go up to c from c again two branches will be there so 3 and 1 they are in series so 3 plus 1 we will consider as 4 and parallel to 12 ohm resistor here the total resistance in the circuit equals to rth hence seen from the points a and b rth is equal to 1 ohm plus 3 ohm parallel to 12 ohm that gives me 4 parallel 12 ohm and you again know the formula for parallel resistances so 4 parallel 12 gives me 4 into 12 divided by 4 plus 12 that gives 4 into 12 means 48 and 4 plus 12 that is 16 so 48 divided by 16 that gives me 3 ohm thus the circuit can be redrawn now by using the values of VTH we have already calculated and RTH and reconnecting back RL which was initially removed hence the circuit will now look like this so we have calculated VTH as 18 volts so battery RTH 3 ohms and RL which we have connected back here 15 ohm so here the current which will flow in the circuit will be 18 divided by 3 plus 15 that is 1 ampere and hence we can say thus the load current which will flow through 15 ohm resistance will be 1 ampere according to the Thevenin's theorem I hope the idea of Thevenin's theorem how it is applied for solving the linear bilateral network to find the current flowing through RL is clear to you thank you